Come on, this is why he died. This is why he came. I know we got to walk through stuff. I know we don't always get everything right, but your heart can be right. I haven't been perfect in the 27 years of my life. I know you think so. <laughs> I'm just having, I haven't been perfect. But man, who knows I want to be. Who knows I'll be as perfect as grace will let me. Who knows I'll make sure I'm presentable and willing and available. I don't want, I'm not going to let human reasoning talk me out of what grace says I can be. I'm not going to let our human experience limit grace. I'm not going to let people say, well, yeah, but nobody can really. Don't tell me nobody can really when Jesus said, follow me. How do you know? Did you lay down the gauntlet and run through it? Did you go after God? Have you surrendered completely? Why are we always quick to say what we can and can't be? When Jesus said, follow me. Yeah, well, brother, I knew some amazing men of God, and they still, and ba ba da ba doo ba da Sound like a Fred Flintstone cartoon. <laughs> I think we talk ourselves out of what grace says is possible. I think we let our own human experience rise above his ability in our lives. And then we fail to give him true glory. And it's still a twisted form of self-centeredness. Isn't it? It's a twisted form of pride. Because you know what pride does? Pride resists. Grace receives. Sometimes people are amazing receivers and we call it pride. Who do you think you are? Maybe they know. Well, you shouldn't think more highly of yourself than you are. Maybe they're not. Maybe they're just saying what he says. Maybe they're just putting on the clothes that fit them. Maybe they took off the rags that don't look good. Some of us, man, I shared with a man. I said, look at it as clothes. Some of us been wearing stuff. It's way too tight. It's way too big. Others don't match. And that's why you don't look good in what you believe you are. <laughs> you need to take that nasty stuff off. <laughs> and put on that handcrafted robe. I look so good in my dress. You ought to see me. <laughs> I look good. If you could see in the spirit, I look good in my robe to him. I'm white. I'm clean. I'm spotless. I'm blameless. I'm holy. And I'm pure in his sight. I found that in my Bible, you can't talk me out of it. There's, there's no theologian who'll ever talk me out of that. You can call me pride, probably for the rest of my life. But I'm going to be in the bedroom, in that place, knowing that's true.